Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. I'm going to continue on the rebuild of this engine. This video is going to be just like the previous one. Pretty superficial really. I'm doing a lot of stuff between the takes of measuring and cleaning and all that. But I want this engine to be back together rather quickly. So it's not going to be in great details. But I'm going to try to include all the funny bits. But I'm going to fit the head gasket for a start today. Because it's nice to get the engine closed off. I have cleaned the deck up completely uh, and degreased it completely using a rubber glove. It's easy to feel if there are grease on it still because it will just drag. It's clean. It's ready for the new head gasket. It's the weirdest looking head gasket I've ever seen because it's not really the same size as the, uh, as the pistons or the barrels. It's a bit weird. It's a really weird form. Luckily it can only be Another thing is that the firings are not connected. I've never seen that before either. That's a bit of a weird one. But um, yeah, let's hope it works. Hopefully I haven't forgotten something that would have been wise to do before this stage. Everything is a bit rushed. But uh, I don't think so. So it's time to tighten up the Sulana head. I'm going to do that in two stages. According to this manual, that's the way to do it. Um, and then the next stage is a bit more. That doesn't feel right. Oh no. <laughs> ah, this won't work. This is stretching. I don't know if you can see it, but it's stretching and I don't want to snap it. I should have bought new balls. At least I didn't snap anything. It's very deja vu like this one because this reminds me a lot about the Fiat. Luckily I didn't snap any ball though because I have learned from experience now <laughs> from last time that it is supposed, especially when you go to stages, I talked all balls up to 35 and then I would then I wanted to go to around 110, 115. And I could feel on the first one how much it needed before the click and the second one. And then the third one needed a bit more. And then I stopped because I knew something was, was up. So it didn't snap. And I did do some research about the balls and they are supposed to not be... And they are supposed to be reusable on the 1600. So I wasn't really... I actually forgot to buy the ones because if I... I would, wouldn't have taken the chance other way, otherwise, but... It is supposed to be reusable balls, i.e. not stretch balls, unless you got a 1700 engine. The 1700 engine Got stretch balls. The stretch balls, I just searched them up on the side. Looks like this. <laughs> and the right ball for the 1600 engine does not look like this. It got a bigger head, it got a got a washer and got a different thread um, pattern. This one is also stretched. These are stretch balls and I cannot tighten them up like this. And I have used my chance. I need a set of the right balls or stretch balls, but I would like to go to the right balls and a new head gasket because I'm not taking a chance on that. Even though it hasn't been squashed all the way down, I'm taking no chance on this. I need another one. And um, 
The good thing about this is the head gasket that I got looks really poor. I have never seen a head gasket where the firing is not touching each other on, on one side. It looks really weird, so uh, I would feel a lot better to get another one, really. But what I want to do is to quickly measure the piston uh, or the barrel, the pistons really, uh, to know the diameter of that. Because what if this is a 1700 engine? It's not supposed to be. Oh, it is a 1600, just like it is supposed to be. That's good. <laughs> oh well, so the head is not going on today, but I'm going to continue on fitting stuff because I really need this engine to be closed up a little bit better. I got parts all over the garage and I need to do stuff to other cars. So I'm going to pretend that the head gasket is on, but it isn't. And then I'm going to fit all the stuff that I can fit now. And then um, I'm trying hopefully to sort another head gasket and some right kind of balls for tomorrow and then try again maybe in the same video i don't know yet but we'll see If you follow Seaside Garage, you will know that when it comes to fitting Solena heads, it's a tradition to have issues. Sometimes with breaking head balls, Solena head balls, sometimes with stripping out the thread. And in general, I seem to not really knowing if it's a stretch ball or not. <laughs> but yeah, I'm having issues once again. I think I got them solved, but this engine is supposed to be a 1600 engine. That's the one the Lada was born with, at least. The 1600 engine got a different head gasket to the 1700. And the 1700 got stretch balled. The 1600 does not have stretch balls. I was expecting this to be a 1600. Someone pointed out to me that on the side of the engine casing, on the side of my engine is written 21, 21, 3. And as far as he knew, that's a 1700 engine. I did some research as well, as well. And yes, it's a 1700 engine. It doesn't really change anything about the whole distributor thing and the crankshaft thing and all that. 
actually now the crankshaft is the right one for the block at least. So that's really good. But it shouldn't really matter though. But what is really weird is that the pistons is supposed to be, I think, 82 millimeters when it's a 16, 1700 and should be 79 millimeters when it's a 1600. This one is 79 millimeters, but the block is a 1700. And let me show you. Let me try to focus on this stuff. Can you see the edge of the bore? This engine got sleeves in it. <laughs> I didn't really think about that when I saw it because it's not uncommon for engines to have sleeves. But this one has sleeves. This engine is, or the block is a 1700. Then they put in sleeves to make it fit the pistons of a 1600 and effectively making it a 1600. Uh, the Sulena head is from a 1600. The distributor, I think, is also from a 1600. I'm gonna fit one of those, uh, so hopefully that will work. I know it will work, but uh, <laughs> it's a bit weird. I don't really know what the difference between the 1700 and the 1600 when it comes to the electronic ignition, but there is a different part number for them, but the measurements seems to be the same. I hope it will work. But this engine is, it's, it's a rebuild that you don't normally see in my parts of the world, but this car has lived in Lithuania because this kind of rebuild is really expensive unless labor time is not that expensive because this is this is craftsmanship and this is the way we should do more stuff, but it would be way too expensive in a country like mine to get anyone to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> I think you could buy a brand new engine from Lada for the same price and it would cost to do stuff like this. But it's really weird. But what I knew, but what I took off from here is a 1600 head, that block, the stretch ball from a 1700, um, and the Sulena head gasket from a 1700. And I bought 1600 uh, gasket, which is not the right one. It's over there. Um, I think it should fit because uh, of the fact that the Solana head is uh, 1600. As you can see, it's not round on the 16. It is round on the uh, 1700. I am not gonna take any chances with this, so I'm gonna fit the, right, the same gasket as I took out to avoid having the ceiling ring to be on another place on the block and the Solana head, because I, I'm not gonna chance that. So hopefully that will work and hopefully everything will seal up. I don't really know how this sleeves thing is made. Uh, it's not going into the coolant passage. So it's most likely just um, friction fitted, but I'm no expert in that kind of stuff. But I am gonna continue on the rebuild now with the, uh, with the right cylinder head, uh, now with the right gasket and with stretch balls. So I'm gonna chalk it down with the stretch specification, which is something to do with angles and stuff like that. Let's continue on the rebuild.
So this is as far as I will go in this video, because I'm going to install the engine back into the car now. I need to fit the clutch and all that, of course, but I will do that once the engine is hanging in the crane. Um, I could fit the manifold and the carb and all that, but I, want, but I don't really want to do that, because when I took this engine out, I had a hard time reaching the bolts for the, uh, for the engine mount. But without that stuff in the, uh, in the way, it will be a lot easier. So I will just install it once it's in the car. This will be the end of this video, though. I will install the engine off camera because, uh, because to be honest, I need this to be done. But I am going to make a video when everything is back in the car and I go ahead and start it up for the first time because that is way too exciting to not film. So. See you in the next one.